anti-hunger pill or anti-pain pill. Mom, I'm gonna save you a lot of money. What are you talking about? I chose the anti-hunger pill. So you can't be hungry until when? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. Why are you not going to the canteen? I'm not hungry. I'm saving money. Really? But the canteen has good stuff like sushi, Shh, chicken. I told you, I'm not hungry. Why is the class so quiet? Don't bother me. Focus on your work. I was just... I said don't bother me, okay? You know what? Just leave. Sit over there. Why are you so angry? Honey, you told me you chose the anti-hunger pill, right? Yes, mom. And the effect is amazing. It's been 17 hours and I'm still not hungry. I just read about them. Did you know they have side effects? Here, have a look. Control mom or control dad? Your dad isn't here anymore. Just choose to control me, honey. But I'm curious what will happen if I choose dad. Okay, mom. I hope mom doesn't find out I chose dad. You chose to control me, right? Yes, mom. It's weird that I still don't know where my dad's grave is. Orange or white? I choose orange. It will help me find him quicker. Spaghetti or burger? Hmm. Burger. Did you choose to control your mom or your dad? Oh, I chose to control my dad. But your dad hasn't been around for a long time, right? Yeah, my dad passed away when I was younger. Did you really choose to control him? Yeah, I made him eat a burger earlier. What? You can tell your dad what to eat? Yeah, why are you surprised? If you can decide what your dad eats, that means he's still alive. Alive? Yes, your dad hasn't died yet. Leave the house or stay inside? Does that mean my dad is still alive? Leave the house. If he stays inside, I'll never find him. Honey, you're home already? Don't act all innocent. I know you lied about dad. What are you talking about? Did you choose to control your dad? Yeah, and now I know the truth. You're crazy. You're going to regret that. Thanks for your concern, but I don't want to hear it anymore. You've been lying to me this whole time. Go to the mall or come to my house? Come to my house, of course. It will save me a lot of time because I don't have to go looking for him anymore. Why is mom screaming? Maybe she's happy to see my dad. Why are you screaming? You're the one who made your dad come to our house? You should be happy that your husband's coming home. Why are you surprised? Honey, I'm at the door. Open. Please don't open that door. What? Why? Honey, don't take too long. Please open the door. If you open it, you'll regret it. Let go of me, mom. Beautiful apple or ugly apple? Beautiful apple, of course. Who would want to pick the ugly apple? Mom, I picked the beautiful apple. I'm going to eat it now, okay? Wait, honey. Don't eat that apple. Why? If I eat this apple, I'll be beautiful, right? Just don't do it. It's risky. It can harm you. Okay, but I'm not throwing it away. Please, let me buy your apple for 10000 I'll pay twice as much. Quickly, give me the apple. Wait, guys. This apple isn't for sale. Just sell it to us. You'll become rich. You guys only want this apple so that you can be beautiful. But unfortunately, I'm not selling. Okay, but don't come back late or regret it. Ten guys asked me to go on a date with them today. Wow, me too. It's all because of the apple. What about me? you, Amara? No one's asked me on a date. That's because you haven't eaten the apple yet. Wow, everyone in the school are so beautiful. Hey, quickly throw away the apple you're holding. Why? That apple is cursed. It can harm you. My mom also told me not to eat it. Babe, you'd do anything for me, right? Yeah, you're my boyfriend. Then please, eat that apple so you'll be beautiful too, like the others. But... Do you really want people to make fun of me because your face is ugly? Okay, okay, I'll eat it now. Good, I can't wait for you to be beautiful. I wonder what will happen. Remove my scarf or get 10 kilograms of gold? I've never removed my scarf before, so I'm gonna remove it. No, that scarf protects you from bad things. Don't remove it. Okay, I'll choose the gold. Mom, I'm going out with my friends. Okay, remember, whatever you do, do not remove that scarf. Yes, Mom, I know. It's really hot today. Hey, have some of my juice. I haven't tasted juice since I was a child. You really don't know what sweet tastes like? How about salt or sour? I don't know. 
Yeah, you're weird. We can't be friends anymore. Come on, let's go, guys. Wait! Amara, are you not swimming? I can't swim, sir. Why is that? Because my scarf will get wet and I can't dry it because my mum told me I can't remove it. Oh, then I'm going to have to fail you for this class. Fail me? Yes. Today, there'll be a cooking lesson. Who here can cook? Me. I know how to cook. Okay, then. Please register your name. I'm going to try a little bit of your meal. How is it, sir? Why does it taste so salty? But I've never tasted salt before. What is it? It's better if you don't take cooking class anymore. Look, it's the girl who never tasted food before. And what's even worse is that she's been wearing that scarf since... I'm not weird. I also don't know why my mom always tells me to wear the scarf. Amara, did you know there's other girls who can't taste food either? I think it's because of the scarf. Why don't you remove it? But my mom says if I remove it, bad things will happen. You still believe that? You don't know what will happen. Just remove it. Okay, I'll try it. I've removed it. Just be careful if something bad happens to me. Just calm down. Now, we have to see if the reason why you can't taste food is because of that scarf. Hey, I have a drink for you to try. I wonder what it tastes like. Wait, miss, before I leave, let me show you what's inside my bag. Well, hurry up. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of money in here. <gasps> that means she's not poor. Please give me the money. Amara, don't listen to her. Give me the money. I need it more. Amara, why is there so many people outside our house? It's because of this blue bag, mom. You need to hide it. You're embarrassing. That's me. funny, actually. You still don't know what's inside of this bag, do you? Oh my gosh, money. I'll give you some if you want. No, that money isn't yours. Return it to its owner. Amara, everyone loves you. They said they want to make you the queen of the city. What? Why? Because you're the richest girl in the city. Today's your coronation. It's true what Arya said. This bag really is a blessing to me. Now, please, make your way to the palace for the coronation. Now? Dreams really do come true. Yeah, don't forget to bring your bag. Mm-hmm. Hello, it's time for you to return the bag to me. But I don't want to. This bag is mine. But you promised. You can't change your mind now. Oh, my gosh, I forgot. But this bag is mine. You don't have the right to take it. You'll regret not giving it to me. We'll see. Okay, keep the bag. Amara, everyone's waiting for you. Wow, I can't believe everyone loves me. Now, it's time for your coronation. Is that the crown? It's so beautiful. You decided not to give me the bag, so now you have to pay the price. What? Purple village or yellow village? Which one do you think I should choose? Just choose the purple village, honey, because you don't have any friends, and there you can make friends. Okay, I'll choose the purple village. Look at Amara, she's always alone. Yeah, she doesn't have a dad. Continue bullying me, I don't care. You don't care? Yeah, because soon I'll have new friends at the purple village. Did you just say purple village? Oh my gosh, she chose the purple village. Why did they all look surprised? I just heard from the other kids that you chose the purple village, right? Yes. Cool, I chose the purple village too. Finally, I found someone else who chose the purple village too. Did anyone else choose the purple village besides us? No, just us. We stand alone. Okay, good. Guys, I know you all don't like me, but can you please just answer one question? Okay, what do you want? Why did you all choose the yellow village? Why didn't you choose the purple village? Because there's a mystery behind the purple village. Oh, huh? there's a mystery? Yeah, apparently it's dangerous to go there. But that's not what mom told me. That's weird. My mom didn't tell me it was dangerous. She said I'd have new friends. Okay, I'm about to go see for myself. Three, two, one. Huh? I'm already at the purple village. Welcome to the purple village. Hi, everyone. Here, you'll have a lot of friends. So nice to meet you. Welcome. Finally, I have new friends here. What was your old village like? Everyone bullied me. Why? Because I don't have a dad. Don't worry, here no one will bully you. In fact, bullying is forbidden. I don't think anyone else chose the purple village besides you. I have a friend named Kelly. She also chose the purple village. But where is she? She hasn't come yet. True. I wonder why she's not here yet. <gasps> that must
must be her. I'm gonna tell her to come over. Hey, finally you arrived. There's so many people you have to meet. Come on. Sorry, Amara. I didn't come here to live in this village. Huh? You didn't come to live here? Then what are you doing here? I came here to pick you up. Listen, you need to know that the people in this village are actually... My status is the queen of school? I have to put it on private to test my friends. What status did you get, honey? Um... Gardener, mom. What? Get out of my house, now! I'm so happy with my status. What did you get? A lawyer, what about you? Why is it private? Surely your status is lower than mine, that's why you're hiding it. Babe, why is your status private? Because I got gardener and I don't want anyone to know. What? I can't date a gardener, so we have to break up. I got supervisor, I can't be seen with a gardener. Your status isn't even that important. At least it's better than yours. Sir, why would you give me an F on this paper? I studied so hard for this. Well, it's because of your status. You don't deserve to get high grades. Thanks, sir, for giving me an A on this This test. is so unfair. I really want to be Jake's girlfriend. What? Why? Jake is really handsome. Why are all the girls surrounding him like that? Because his status is the king of the school. Of course, everyone's going to like so, him. So, Jake is the king? How come no one's received the status queen of school yet? I don't know, but I think Emily will get it because she's the most beautiful girl in school. Guys, let's go library together. No, I don't want to be friends with you anymore because you're not on my level. Yeah, there's no use for us to be friends. Hey, what are you doing in our class? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in the lower class. Hmm, turns out all my friends are fake. That's enough. I've tested them all now. It's time for me to show my real status. That's enough. I've tested them all now. It's time for me to show my real status. Why does it say error? Is there an error in the system? Guys, you won't believe it. I got the status queen of school. What? No, I have the status queen of school. You don't have to lie, Amara. Yeah, just tell us your real status. Guys, I'm the original school queen, not Emily. What the heck? You're just jealous of me. Where's the proof that you're the queen of school anyway? My status still says error, but just trust me, I'm not lying. No, we don't trust you. You told me you were a gardener yesterday, that's why I broke up with you. See, clearly I'm the queen of school. I've already asked the principal to kick you out. No, you can't do that. Of course I can, and you'll see soon. Hey, you have to pack your things, you're expelled from school. Sir, you can't do that, I'm the queen of school. Emily is the queen of school, and I trust her more, you don't even have proof. But sir! Sir, give her a chance to prove her status. Okay, because you're the king of school, I have to accept your request. Jake, thanks for helping me earlier. You're welcome. I hope you're not lying to me about your status. Of course not. Hey, gardener, don't come near Jake. He's my soulmate. You can't ban her from talking to me. I'm waiting for her error to go away so she can show her real status. But I am the queen of school. I'm literally the prettiest girl here. Well, one of you are lying and whoever it is will get a harsh punishment. How do I fix the system? Ouch, my leg is injured. What happened? I fell while sweeping the floor. Okay, wait right here. I'll be right back. Oh, look, the gardener's trying to help the cleaning lady. <laughs> Here's some medicine. Thank you, you're very kind. <gasps> my status, it doesn't say error anymore. Mom, I got my name. What is it, honey? It says Margaret Onions. I love it so much. What kind of a name is that? Actually, I find it quite unique. Uh, honey, are you sure about that? Yes, just imagine. Margaret Onions. Wait, you're right, it's awful. I didn't want to say anything. What am I going to do now? Honey, relax. Don't get frustrated. You can change your name. Just refuse it and it will give you another one soon. Okay. Hey, Bestie, do you already have a name? Yes, you can now call me Britney Spears. The singer? Yep. You're so lucky. What name did you get? It doesn't matter, I refused it. You can't imagine how horrible it was. Was it that bad? The donkey? Seriously? I'm gonna have to refuse again. No, stop refusing. Why not? Imagine one day I marry the prince and he says, Welcome princess, the donkey. Calm down, I'm just trying to say that it's your second option and you can only refuse up to three. And the last option could be even worse, do you understand? Here's some medicine. Thank you, you're very kind. My status, it doesn't say error anymore. Hey Gardener, what are you talking about? It must be fake. You're the one who's fake. I'm gonna make you regret saying that.
I heard you're the new school queen. Yeah, Emily was lying this whole time. We always believed you. Let's be friends, please. I don't want to be friends with you guys. You're evil. And besides, aren't you Emily's best friends? Not anymore. We don't want to be friends with Emily. We want to be friends with the queen. So your status appeared. You're the real queen. I'm so happy. Jake, don't believe her. According to the rules, the king must obey the queen. What do you want, queen? I want Emily's status to be changed to gardener. Okay, fine. I admit I lied about my status, but please don't change it to gardener. You deserve to get the punishment. Honey, wait, what are you doing? I'm drawing a cat. Honey, you can't draw on yourself. What you draw on your body will stay on your soulmate's body forever. Oops. Bestie, what are you doing? <sighs> Relax, I'm drawing a heart on my face to make it easier for me to find my soulmate. But I think your soulmate won't be happy with a permanent heart on his face. Don't worry, he'll thank me a lot later. Amara, look at your face. <gasps> he turned the heart into a spider. He's not going to get away with this. Relax, revenge is not the best answer. Amara, what did you do? A permanent mustache. Let's see if you like this. Bestie, have you noticed your arm? I think your soulmate drew something on it. Yeah, I don't think he liked the mustache very much. What's written on there? <gasps> Wait, he wrote an address. What does this bag mean, mom? You'll get a free bag, honey. Free? Yes, it will consist of three colors. Black means rich, pink means ordinary, and blue means poor. Then I hope I get black. Three, two, one. <gasps> Why did I get a blue bag? You should never wear that bag. I can't believe I got blue. I mean, just look at your house. It's so ugly. Obviously, you're going to get the blue bag. What color did you get? Black, because my family is rich. Bestie, what kind of bag did you get? I got pink. What about you? I got blue. Oh my gosh, blue? Yes, why are you shocked? Because you're the only one who got blue, so you're special. Special? How? That means I'm the only poor person in school. No, that bag will be a blessing for you. But I feel like this bag is going to bring me a lot of bad luck. I'm just going to throw it away. Goodbye bag. I hope I get a new black bag. Amara, I heard you got a blue bag. No, miss. I haven't gotten a bag yet. Miss, she's lying. No, I'm not. Anyway, before school finishes, you have to show us your bag. But I threw the bag away. I have to find it. I threw my bag here, but it's gone. Are you looking for this? Hey, that's my bag. Give it back. In one condition. You have to return the bag to me tomorrow. That's my bag. Why should I return it? Fine. See, I knew she was lying. You have to leave the city immediately, Amara. Why? Because no one here accepts poor people like you. Why does my bag suddenly feel heavy? Come on, please leave. Wait, miss, before I leave, let me show you what's inside my bag. If you open it, you'll regret it. Let go of me, mom. Hi, dad. I really miss you. I really miss you too, dad. Come on in. Thank you, honey. I'm so happy we're all a family again. Mom, why is your face like that? You've made a big mistake. How? You should be happy we're all a family again. Why is Dad screaming? Amara, come here. Okay, coming. What's wrong, Dad? Your mom bit my arm. Mom bit you? Yes. Mom, why are you doing this? He's lying. I didn't bite him. The bite mark is right here. He bit himself. Mom, you've taken this too far. Dad, are you okay? I'm okay, honey. I already know my dad loves me. So, I choose mom. Maybe it will help them get along again. Is that our family picture? Why is it ripped? I don't know. I found it like this. Our family picture? Who ripped it? Amara did. Maybe she doesn't want to accept me as her well, dad. No, I didn't rip it. I just saw it like this. If my dad lied about me ripping our family picture, then maybe he also lied about my mom biting him. My dad is acting strange. I really want to see what he's really like. Honey, what are you going to do about your dad? I don't know why. Be honest with me. What did you pick for your dad to be? I chose for him to be his true self. What? That means you're walking up his bad side. This is why I left him in the first place. He day. has a bad side? 
Oh, honey, you don't know anything. We have to run away from home now. Run away? Yes, we have to escape from this house. Mom, why is the door locked? You think you can escape from me? <laughs> Dad, please let us go. I will, right after you help me with something. Help you with what? You have to get rid of your grandmother and grandfather. Well, why do you want us to do that? Because they've always been mean to me. They've always loved your mother okay, more. Okay, but this doesn't mean we have to get rid of them. If you don't want to do it, I'll get rid of you both. Sorry, but I'm going to have to kill you. No. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. Oh, what do you mean? Goodbye, Dad. I want to take off my pigtails today. You can't. You can't take them off. It's dangerous. You have to keep the pigtails. But I'm so tired, Mom. Every day I get bullied by my friends because I'm always in pigtails like this. Guys, look at my hair. Doesn't it look good? I curled it this morning. Yeah, your hair looks nice. Unlike Amara's, her hair has been in pigtails for the last 10 years. Hey, Marco. I've liked you for a long time. Can we date? Uh, I don't want to date a girl who's had the same hairstyle for almost all her life. That's embarrassing. Poor you. You got rejected by Marco. How do you know? Marco told me and he also asked me to be his girlfriend because my hair's nice, not like you. You know what? I can't stand this anymore. I'm going to take these stupid pigtails off. Hmm, I can choose between knowing the name of someone's parents or knowing the age. I think I prefer to know the name of someone's parents. Sis, can I borrow your hairbrush? Yes, of course. Here. Thank you. Wait, why is your dad's name different than mine? Aren't we sisters? What? What are you talking about? Hey, psst, give me the answer to question three. Sir, Gemma's asking me for the answer to question three. What? No, I'm not. She's lying. I trust Gemma more. She's smarter than you, Amara. You're only doing this because she's your daughter, right? Wait, what? Don't worry. I know your little secret. I haven't checked my parents' name yet. What? Both names are boy names. I have to ask my mom. Mom, you have to tell me the truth now. Who are you? What, what are you talking about? I think it's time for us to tell her the truth. Good school or evil school? Which one should I choose? Choose the evil school, honey. Our family will be there. Okay. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. Wait, I thought you chose the evil school. You should be wearing a black uniform. Why are you wearing pink? Because I chose the good school, Mom. Quickly change your black clothes, now. Why does my mom insist on the evil school? It's so strange. Which school did you choose, Amara? Uh, the evil school, and you? Same, basically we shouldn't separate because the school is scary. scary. Yes, there's a lot of evil students. Oh god, what did I get myself into? Hey, this is the evil school, right? Yes. Do you know where the classes are? Down the corridor to the left. Thank you. Hey, you. We're going to do a check because you're suspicious. What? This is a special drink for the evil school. To prove that you're from here, you have to drink this. Ugh, I hope they don't find out that I'm lying. Be smart or be pretty? Of course I'm going to choose to be pretty. Who would want to be smart anyway? Amara, what did you choose? I chose to be pretty. What? You should have chosen to be smart. Why? Because apparently the teacher said whoever's the smartest and can finish the homework first will be the next school president. Well, why didn't anyone tell me? It's always been a dream of mine to become the next school president. Amara! What? Jessica finished her homework and now she's going to show it to our teacher. No way! I can't let her win! Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we go and steal her homework? That way she has nothing to show. Okay, here it is, but her handwriting is so hard to read. Why don't you use cam scanner? What's that? Cam scanner allows you to take photos of any documents and turn it into a clear photo. There's also an erase tool that works great to erase any unwanted writing. You're a lifesaver. These photos are so clear. Okay, go distract Jessica while I quickly copy our homework. Here you go, miss. 
I can know my boyfriend's friend's name or what people have me saved as on the phone. Of course, I'm gonna choose contact name. Morning, mom. Morning, honey. Mom, how come you've saved my name as least favorite child? No, honey, that was your sister. She took my phone and changed your name. I don't know how to change it back. Hey, Jess. Hey, bestie. I miss you so much. Two-faced? Seriously? How did you know? Did you hack my phone? No, I have the power to see what people save me as. I can't believe you saved me as two-faced. Hey, Amara, you can read the contact names, right? Please, can you check what my boyfriend saved me as? Okay. Girlfriend number three. Not possible. There must be an error in the system. Hey, Amara, why are you in a bad mood? Nothing. I'm just getting annoyed with people. Why are you annoyed? You're the same. Hey, nerd, why are you always walking alone? You don't have any friends, do you? When will you stop bullying me? Never. By the way, what did you say my name as on your phone? I saved your name as the loner. Are you sure? A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mines after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Amara's house looks like. I've seen it. It's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party. But if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir. I understand. They'll soon know the truth. But I have to get ready before they come. I wonder what the reaction will be like. Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir. This is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't to this house. Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to me? Of her? course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara's. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house isn't Amara's, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. Dad, finally. Do you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir, I brought it. Here you go. Good. Now, let's see if the house is really yours. I hope I'll get a nice hairstyle. Two ponytails? If I accept, all my friends are going to make fun of me because I look like a little girl. It's okay, honey. It's a trend now. No, mom, it's not. I'm going to refuse it. Look how pretty my hair is. Yeah, it looks really good. I wish I got that hairstyle. Where is your hairstyle? You didn't get one? I did, but I rejected it. You should pick a unique one so your soulmate can find you. Yeah, I'm going to accept the next choice I get. I chose a half-up, half-down ponytail. I chose a bun. You guys are lucky. Don't worry, just keep refusing until you get a good one. 
Yeah, I did that as well and it worked. Wow, then I have a better chance of getting a good hairstyle. I hope this time they'll give me a good hairstyle, which is better than my friends. Huh? Bold hairstyle? That means I'm not gonna have any hair. Why would they even give me this choice? It's okay, honey. Just accept it. Your hair will grow healthier. I don't want to, mom. You should be thankful and stop I'm being I'm not picky. being picky. I'm gonna refuse it. I'm worried about you. You haven't picked a hairstyle yet. You have to quickly pick one so you can marry your soulmate. Calm down. I still have time. Hopefully, they'll give me a hairstyle this time that I like because I'm so tired of this. Huh? A bob cut? Not happening. I'm not cutting my hair. Sis, there's an old man staring at you. You have to pick a hairstyle quickly so you can get married and no one will stare at you anymore. No, I'm refusing it. I can't believe I still haven't gotten the hairstyle I want. I heard that if you get two braids, you're a special person. What do you mean a special person? You'll get treated like a queen with that hairstyle. Gosh, you still haven't picked? How many times have you refused? Three times. But you only get three chances. Now you'll never meet your soulmate. Calm down. Special people get to choose four times. And I'm sure I'm going to get to choose again. But you're not special. Yes, I am. Just watch. Don't give me another choice. I really hope so. I'm starting to get a bit worried. What if they don't give me another choice? Yes, I knew it. They're giving me another choice. Okay, hopefully this time they'll give me braids. Huh? Two braids? I managed to get the special hair! Don't accept it because... It's okay. This hairstyle is profitable. I don't want to waste this opportunity, so I'm gonna accept it. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Gosh, so they really did die because of the lunch I gave them. Hello? Answer me! Um, it wasn't because of me, sir. The last meal was... Chicken soup. Okay, now, keep this a secret from everyone. So, I'm not in trouble, right, sir? No, but please keep this a secret. Yes, of course. Where did you just come from, Amara? I was just walking around the school. I'm really starting to get worried about our friends. Do you think something bad happened to them? No, I don't think so. Honey, you're back from school. Let's have lunch. I just cooked. What's our lunch this time? Cockroaches, why? I don't know if I should eat it, but I need to find out if the reason my friends died was because of them. You don't want to eat the food? Yes, I, I do, Mom. Well, it tastes really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Why didn't anything happen? I'll get it. Hey, I brought you a bag filled with food. You did? I don't think I can accept this, sir. If you don't, I'll reduce your grades. Okay, I'll accept it. Why is he forcing me to take this? This is so weird. I have to find out who was responsible for what happened at school yesterday. Amara, you're finally here. Huh, Stephanie? How are you still alive? Am I in heaven? I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. So you faked your death? Yes. White flower or red flower? This is the first time I've seen a red flower, so I'm going to pick it. Honey, pick the white flower, please. But why? Our whole house is filled with white flowers. I'm kind of bored of seeing them. Our family really respect white flowers, so you can't choose anything else. Okay. Wait, don't open the plastic. Why not? Because of the smell of the flower. But I'm really curious how it smells like. No, the flower has no smell, so it's useless if you open it. Okay. Hello everyone, what flower did you pick? We all got red flowers, didn't you? No, I chose white because my mom told me to. Huh, you chose? Didn't you get it straight away? No, I got two options between white and red. You must be special in that case because no one gets to choose. I chose the white flower and it really smells good. Wait, you chose the white flower? That means I wasn't the only one who got a choice. It smells really good. Try smell it. Okay. Honey, I told you not to open the plastic. But my friend did and nothing happened. You're different. Kelly? Kelly! Kelly's barely breathing. Call an ambulance. Yes, sir. Kelly died from inhaling the white flowers. What about Amara? She also has a white flower, but she hasn't died. I haven't smelled the flower yet. My mom doesn't let me. I just noticed this white flower. It smells really good. Quickly, throw it away. Why are you acting like that? Wait, I feel dizzy. Are you okay? Amara, you have to throw that flower away now. I'm not allowed. I'm not even allowed to open it. Kelly and Jesse both died from smelling that flower. You don't want anyone else dying, do you? Here, let me throw it for you. 
Mom, do you have to come with me to school? I always go alone. I have to come watch you. It turns out you threw away the flower. Yes, because my friend said it's dangerous. I told you you're different. Anyway, I picked up the flower again. Thankfully, it didn't get destroyed. Thanks. All students are expected to gather in the field now. Mom, I have to go. The teacher needs me. There's been a lot of death because of the white flowers. 20 people have died. 20? But how? We have to do a search and see which one of you has the white flower. Sir, my stomach hurts. I need to go to the toilet. Okay, hurry up. Thank God it's safe here. There's something strange about this flower. I have to prove it by smelling it. I'm really curious what it smells like. How much can I drink today? Huh? Only one cup? That's not even enough. I'm going to be thirsty all day. You have a whole cup filled with water. Why are you taking tiny sips? Because my allowance is only one cup today. What? A whole family gets 10 liters per day. Why are you different? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll find a way so you can increase your drinking allowance. Thanks, mom. I have to be careful with how much I drink today. Amara, why are you wearing those clothes? Why? What else would I wear? Sport clothes. We have to run. The teacher told run? us. Run? I can't join you because I can only drink one cup of water today. But it's an important test. You have to come. Huh? Sir, are we really having a running test? Yes, because the school wants to kick out any student who's considered weak. So, for example, the ones who only gets to drink little per day. But why, sir? Because our school wants to be known for having strong athletic students, not weak ones. I only have half a cup left. I'm not going to drink again until after the run. Are you sure you'll be able to do it? Yeah, how much can you drink today? Five liters. Everyone gets five liters. I don't know why you're different. I feel so isolated. You have to be able to run 10 kilometers. Luckily, I can drink a lot of water. Yeah, we have to keep drinking so we get a lot of energy. Okay, I've drank a whole bottle of water. I think it's enough now. Amara, do you think you'll be able to hold your thirst? Yeah, I think so. I should be fine. Okay, everyone, get ready. The running test will start in three, two, one. I'm so thirsty and tired. Amara, we only have one kilometer left. I feel really weak. I have to drink now. Um, that means you can't drink anymore for today, right? I hope you can survive this, Amara. I can't anymore. I have to rest. Why don't you run? We're having an exam. I just took a little break. You have to go back before anyone realizes. You'll get kicked out of Why the school. Why did you bring so many drinks with you? Can I have one? No, Amara, you shouldn't. Finally, I'm not thirsty anymore. Wait, but the water you just drank is actually... Huh? I only have one diamond? That's so little. Don't complain. I got minus two. At least you got one. I guess I'm going to have to choose to marry a rich man. Although I wanted to be single, but I only have one diamond. Hello, I'm going to be taking care of your wedding with Mr. Liam. Where did you come from? Liam hired me. He said he can't wait for you to be his can't wife. Can't wait? How old is this guy? Relax, he's 21. 21? He's younger than me. I don't want to marry someone younger than me. It's too late now. You can't cancel the wedding. How are you expecting me to sign this contract without even knowing what he looks like? Mr. Liam requested this and he also wants it to be a secret. That's so weird. What if he's a criminal? Don't worry, I guarantee you he's not a bad person. Now let's sign the agreement. Okay. 10 million? Why don't I have enough diamonds? Now I have to pick the stupid black card. I'm just gonna throw it away. It's useless. Are you crazy? Why would you throw that card away? You can use it to buy anything in this world. Didn't you know that? Wait, really? I'm almost late. Excuse me, your card fell on the floor. Oh, yes, thank you. By the way, since you helped me find this card, do you want to have coffee somewhere? Yeah, sure. Thank you for inviting me, by the way. Before I leave, can I get your Instagram? Yes. I mean... Sorry, I can't. I don't have enough diamonds. It's okay. I can give you mine and you can just follow me. That's a really good idea. I'm so glad I met this guy. He's so handsome. Amara, come downstairs. Your future husband's here to see you. Future husband? Oh yeah, I'm going to get married soon. But I don't want to marry Liam. I want to marry the guy from the coffee shop. Huh? This means I can run away from this marriage. Yes! I can know the subject or class. You'll be going to a new school soon, so you'll have to choose what's useful for you. But if I'm in school, I straight away know the class, so I'm going to pick subject. 
Are you sure about your choice? Yes, mom. I chose to know the class. Yeah, I don't think anyone chooses to know the subject. It's good for nothing. I chose subject. What? Those who chose subject will be Claire's maid. Maid? But I'm smart. Why would they make me her maid? Hey, Emily, what did you choose to know? Obviously class, didn't you? Um, no, I chose to know the subject. Huh? From now on, I can't be friends with you anymore. Why not? I don't want to be friends with Claire's maid. This is all your fault, so don't contact me anymore. Babe, you have to teach me the subject too, yeah? Babe, since when were we dating? Since the moment you chose to know the subject. So you just want to use me? Not happening. Did you just reject the most handsome boy in school? I have a present for you. I want to take you out to eat. I'll pay. Shh, Amara's mine. Don't talk to her. What do you mean? When we finish school, you have to come to my house. Sa said, if you bring a book that doesn't match the subject... You'll be killed by the ghost of a teacher who used to be in the school. And you believe that? Yes, so many people have gone missing because they brought the wrong book to school. Amara, tomorrow you have to tell me what book to bring to school, okay? No, why should I tell you? Because you're my maid and did you forget I'm the president's daughter? There will be consequences if you don't tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. Mom, apparently I'm Claire's maid now because I'm the only one who can see tomorrow's subject. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Claire's the daughter of the president. You have to respect her and listen to her. Here, take this bag. Make sure everything she needs is in this bag. Wait, so you think it's right that I'm her maid? Yes, you should be proud. She's the president's daughter. You can see tomorrow's subject, right? Yes, sir. Why? The lives of your friends are now in your hands. You have to tell them. So they don't disappear like the others. Yes, sir. I understand. Today's lesson is maths. Why didn't you call me this morning? Hurry up and tell me today's subject so I can bring the right book to class. Oh, yeah. Today's lesson is... English. I can see someone's last drink or last meal. I think their last meal is more interesting. Mom, I'm going to eat quickly before going to school. Oh my gosh, you ate a cockroach? Yeah, I wanted to try it. I learned how to fry it online. Do you want to try some? No, thank you. I'm going to school. Bye. Wait, before you go, here, take a couple with you so you can eat them at lunch. Whatever, Mom. Thanks. It turns out all my friends are healthy because they eat vegetables all the time. Amara, what's that in your lunchbox? What kind of food is that? It looks delicious. The fried cockroaches. Do you want to try some? Sure, I've never had them before. I heard they're really good. Thank you for sharing your lunch. You're usually very stingy. I feel bad for you because you eat vegetables all the time. How do you know that I eat vegetables? Because I can see people's last meal. If that's true, can you check my last meal? Chicken liver? Gosh, you're right. But please don't tell anyone I have this power. I feel like everyone who ate your cockroach yesterday is gone. Huh? Gone? How? They didn't come to school today. Who made that cockroach? My mom, but it's impossible that she would poison my lunch. The teacher now suspects you. Luckily, I didn't try your lunch yesterday, so I'm saved. You wanted to see me, sir? Aria said you can see someone's last meal, right? But I told her not to tell anyone. Is that true, Amara? Yes, sir. Meet me at the school warehouse at 3 this afternoon. I wonder why he wants me to meet him at that exact time. Okay, sir. Why does it smell so rotten in here? You should see their last meal. Huh, them? That's my friends who didn't show up to school today. Why do they look so pale? Everyone who ate your cockroach died. One of them, as you know, is the president's daughter. There's no way. I guarantee you my lunch wasn't poisoned. I need you to please look at their last meal. Huh? Why can't I see it? The last meal isn't appearing, sir. Okay, I'll give you three hours. If you can't prove it, you'll be found guilty and will be punished. Buy these glasses, please. They're cheap. No, thanks. I don't want to buy any glasses. But they have a great power. You won't regret it. Great power? Okay, who knows? Maybe they can help me. I'll take them. You're here, which means you can see people's last meals, right? I'll try, sir. This is your last chance. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Holy water or dirty water? Of course, the holy water. 
Oh my gosh, Amara, you're drinking the wrong glass. Oh no. What even is dirty water? Now you can read dirty things that people did in the past. Amara, can you buy me lunch? I don't have any money. Oh, are you hungry? Yeah, really. Why are you so quiet? Lily, have you ever kissed a guy? No, I haven't. Oh, that means this is wrong. No, I mean, I haven't kissed one guy. I've kissed three. Hey, isn't that our teacher? She's 50 years old and she hasn't She's married yet. She's not married? What are your kids doing here? We're just talking, miss. You have two kids? Uh, what are you talking about? I'm not married yet. <laughs> Amara? What's wrong? Are you okay? My parents got divorced. All of a sudden? Why? It turns out my dad has been cheating on my mom with our teacher and they have two kids. Oh my god. That means the dirty secrets are true. I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. Wait, so you faked your death? Yes, because... Because we wanted to save Sarah. I think she really died because she got poisoned. So you didn't die because of the lunch I gave you? No, in fact, I went to your house to ask for more food because it was so delicious. Hey, who's there? Shoot, we have to go. Thank God we got out before him seeing us. How are we supposed to save Sarah? She's the president's daughter. If he finds out she got poisoned, no one knows what he's gonna do. You think she died because she got poisoned, right? Yes. I have to see her last meal. That's the only way I can find out. Let's go back in there. Oh yeah, I have to use these glasses first. What's her last meal, Amara? What? What's wrong? It looks like she's eating a lot of different things. But these foods are the same as our teacher and Elisa's foods. Okay, you know what to do, right? Hey, Amara, don't you hate staying at school for this long? I should be asking you this question. You don't have any relationship with our teacher, do you? Me? No. Why do you ask? Because you two always eat the same meals. Are you really suspecting me right now? I thought you were better than this. I feel so sleepy, Mom. Amara, where have you been? It's so late. I was out with friends. Hurry up and go to bed. You have school tomorrow. What food are you making tomorrow? I'm making steak. Yes! Mom, I'm going to school. Honey, there's no school today. Just stay at home and help me clean. No school? Why? I saw the announcement on TV that the president's daughter is dead. Oh no, they found out. Why did she die? I don't know, but two of your friends got arrested because they suspect that they killed her. You mean Emma and Lily? I have to go. Quickly look for Stephanie's heart. Her heart wasn't found? No, it was stolen by someone. Sir, did you? Shh, if you report me to the police, you'll regret it. Make sure you keep it a secret. Alyssa, you have to help me. Help you with what? You ate Stephanie's heart too? I've been waiting for this moment. Me and our teacher both wanted her dead because she's a spoiled brat. What's wrong with you? You've changed so much. I'm going to tell the police. You don't have any proof. Excuse me, miss. Why are you here? We're doing an investigation. I know who killed Stephanie. It was Elisa and my teacher. I have a recording of them both confessing. I can't believe this. This is all the evidence we need. Thank you so much. You're amazing. I can know the subject or class. You'll be going to a new school soon, so you'll have to choose what's useful for you. But if I'm in school, I straight away know the class, so I'm going to pick subject. Are you sure about your choice? Yes, ma'am. I chose to know the class. Yeah, I don't think anyone chooses to know the subject. It's good for nothing. I chose subject. What? Those who chose subject will be Claire's maid. Maid? But I'm smart. Why would they make me her maid? Hey, Emily, what did you choose to know? Obviously class, didn't you? Um, no, I chose to know the subject. Huh? From now on, I can't be friends with you anymore. Why not? I don't want to be friends with Claire's maid. This is all your fault, so don't contact me anymore. Babe, you have to teach me the subject too, yeah? Babe, since when were we dating? Since the moment you chose to know the subject. So you just want to use me? Not happening. Did you just reject the most handsome boy in school? I have a present for you. I want to take you out to eat. I'll pay. Shh, Amara's mine. Don't talk to her. What do you mean? When we finish school, you have to come to my house. Sa said if you bring a book that doesn't match the subject, You'll be killed by the ghost of a teacher who used to be in the school. And you believe that? Yes, so many people have gone missing because they brought the wrong book to school. 
Amara, tomorrow you have to tell me what book to bring to school, okay? No, why should I tell you? Because you're my maid, and did you forget I'm the president's daughter? There will be consequences if you don't tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. Mom, apparently I'm Claire's maid now, because I'm the only one who can see tomorrow's subject. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Claire's the daughter of the president. You have to respect her and listen to her. Here, take this bag. Make sure everything she needs is in this bag. Wait, so you think it's right that I'm her maid? Yes, you should be proud. She's the president's daughter. You can see tomorrow's subject, right? Yes, sir. Why? The lives of your friends are now in your hands. You have to tell them. So they don't disappear like the others. Yes, sir. I understand. Today's lesson is maths. Why didn't you call me this morning? Hurry up and tell me today's subject so I can bring the right book to class. Oh yeah, today's lesson is... English. I can see someone's last drink or last meal. I think their last meal is more interesting. Mom, I'm gonna eat quickly before going to school. Oh my gosh, you ate a cockroach? Yeah, I wanted to try it. I learned how to fry it online. Do you want to try some? No, thank you. I'm going to school. Bye. Wait, before you go, here, take a couple with you so you can eat them at lunch. Whatever, Mom. Thanks. It turns out all my friends are healthy because they eat vegetables all the time. Amara, what's that in your lunchbox? What kind of food is that? It looks delicious. The fried cockroaches. Do you want to try some? Sure, I've never had them before. I heard they're really good. Thank you for sharing your lunch. You're usually very stingy. I feel bad for you because you eat vegetables all the time. How do you know that I eat vegetables? Because I can see people's last meal. If that's true, can you check my last meal? Chicken liver? Gosh, you're right. But please don't tell anyone I have this power. I feel like everyone who ate your cockroach yesterday is gone. Huh? Gone? How? They didn't come to school today. Who made that cockroach? My mom, but it's impossible that she would poison my lunch. The teacher now suspects you. Luckily, I didn't try your lunch yesterday, so I'm saved. You wanted to see me, sir? Aria said you can see someone's last meal, right? But I told her not to tell anyone. Is that true, Amara? Yes, sir. Meet me at the school warehouse at 3 this afternoon. I wonder why he wants me to meet him at that exact time. Okay, sir. Why does it smell so rotten in here? You should see their last meal. Huh? Them? That's my friends who didn't show up to school today. Why do they look so pale? Everyone who ate your cockroach died. One of them, as you know, is the president's daughter. There's no way. I guarantee you my lunch wasn't poisoned. I need you to please look at their last meal. Huh? Why can't I see it? The last meal isn't appearing, sir. Okay, I'll give you three hours. If you can't prove it, you'll be found guilty and will be punished. Buy these glasses, please. They're cheap. No, thanks. I don't want to buy any glasses. But they have a great power. You won't regret it. Great power? Okay, who knows? Maybe they can help me. I'll take them. You're here, which means you can see people's last meals, right? I'll try, sir. This is your last chance. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Amara, did you break the TV? No, it was Sissy who did it. You're lying, aren't you? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You just aged. So, every time I lie, I age? Yes, you have to be careful. Never lie again, okay? Okay, fine. Hey, babe, where were you? We always walk to school together. I was uh, helping my mom with something. You're lying. You just aged. What? No. You were with another girl, weren't you? I can't believe Alex is cheating on me. Hey, Amara, you look sad. Yeah, it's because I am. Anyway, how does my dress look? That's the principal's daughter. I have to be nice to her. It looks great. Thanks, Amara. I can't believe I just wasted a lie on her. Now I probably look much older. Wait, I look exactly the same. Maybe this aging thing doesn't work on me anymore. Hey, Nat, I have a crush on you. Really? No one's ever had a crush on me before. Stop stealing my homework! What do you mean? I didn't steal anything. Hey Jess, I heard your crush Henry likes you. Really? I'm gonna go talk to him. <laughs> She's so stupid. 
It's so cool that I'm the only person who can lie as many times as I want without aging. Uh, Amara, have you seen yourself in the mirror yet? What do you mean? Here, take a look. <gasps> I hope I'll get a nice hairstyle. Two ponytails. If I accept, all my friends are going to make fun of me because I look like a little girl. It's okay, honey. It's a trend now. No, mom, it's not. I'm going to refuse it. Look how pretty my hair is. Yeah, it looks really good. I wish I got that hairstyle. Where is your hairstyle? You didn't get one? I did, but I rejected it. You should pick a unique one so your soulmate can find you. Yeah, I'm gonna accept the next choice I get. I chose a half up, half down ponytail. I chose a bun. You guys are lucky. Don't worry, just keep refusing until you get a good one. Yeah, I did that as well and it worked. Wow, then I have a better chance of getting a good hairstyle. I hope this time they'll give me a good hairstyle, which is better than my friends. Huh? Bold hairstyle? That means I'm not gonna have any hair. Why would they even give me this choice? It's okay, honey. Just accept it. Your hair will grow healthier. I don't want to, mom. You should be thankful and stop I'm being I'm not picky. being picky. I'm gonna refuse it. I'm worried about you. You haven't picked a hairstyle yet. You have to quickly pick one so you can marry your soulmate. Calm down. I still have time. Hopefully, they'll give me a hairstyle this time that I like because I'm so tired of this. Huh? A bob cut? Not happening. I'm not cutting my hair. Sis, there's an old man staring at you. You have to pick a hairstyle quickly so you can get married and no one will stare at you anymore. No, I'm refusing it. I can't believe I still haven't gotten the hairstyle I want. I heard that if you get two braids, you're a special person. What do you mean a special person? You'll get treated like a queen with that hairstyle. Gosh, you still haven't picked? How many times have you refused? Three times. But you only get three chances. Now you'll never meet your soulmate. Calm down. Special people get to choose four times. And I'm sure I'm going to get to choose again. But you're not special. Yes, I am. Just watch. Don't give me another choice. I really hope so. I'm starting to get a bit worried. What if they don't give me another choice? Yes, I knew it. They're giving me another choice. Okay, hopefully this time they'll give me braids. Huh? Two braids? I managed to get the special hair! Don't accept it because... It's okay, this hairstyle is profitable. I don't want to waste this opportunity, so I'm gonna accept it. I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. Wait, so you faked your death? Yes, because... Because we wanted to save Sarah. I think she really died because she got poisoned. So you didn't die because of the lunch I gave you? No, in fact, I went to your house to ask for more food because it was so delicious. Hey, who's there? Shoot, we have to go. Thank God we got out before him seeing us. How are we supposed to save Sarah? She's the president's daughter. If he finds out she got poisoned, no one knows what he's gonna do. You think she died because she got poisoned, right? Yes. I have to see her last meal. That's the only way I can find out. Let's go back in there. Oh yeah, I have to use these glasses first. What's her last meal, Amara? What? What's wrong? It looks like she's eating a lot of different things. But these foods are the same as our teacher and Elisa's foods. Okay, you know what to do, right? Hey, Amara, don't you hate staying at school for this long? I should be asking you this question. You don't have any relationship with our teacher, do you? Me? No. Why do you ask? Because you two always eat the same meals. Are you really suspecting me right now? I thought you were better than this. I feel so sleepy, mom. Amara, where have you been? It's so late. I was out with friends. Hurry up and go to bed. You have school tomorrow. What food are you making tomorrow? I'm making steak. Yes. Mom, I'm going to school. Honey, there's no school today. Just stay at home and help me clean. No school? Why? I saw the announcement on TV that the president's daughter is dead. Oh no, they found out. Why did she die? I don't know, but two of your friends got arrested because they suspect that they killed her. You mean Emma and Lily? I have to go. Quickly look for Stephanie's heart. Her heart wasn't found? No, it was stolen by someone. Sir, did you? Shh, if you report me to the police, you'll regret it. Make sure you keep it a secret. Alyssa, you have to help me. Help you with what? You ate Stephanie's heart too? I've been waiting for this moment. Me and our teacher both wanted her dead because she's a spoiled brat. What's wrong with you? You've changed so much. I'm going to tell the police. You don't have any proof. Excuse me, miss. Why are you here? We're doing an investigation. 
I know who killed Stephanie. It was Alyssa and my teacher. I have a recording of them both confessing. I can't believe this. This is all the evidence we need. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Good school or evil school? Which one should I choose? Choose the evil school, honey. Our family will be there. Okay. Bye, mom. I'm going to school. Wait, I thought you chose the evil school. You should be wearing a black uniform. Why are you wearing pink? Because I chose the good school, mom. Quickly change your black clothes, now. Why does my mom insist on the evil school? It's so strange. Which school did you choose, Amara? Uh, the evil school, and you? Same, basically we shouldn't separate because the school is scary. scary. Yes, there's a lot of evil students. Oh god, what did I get myself into? Hey, this is the evil school, right? Yes. Do you know where the classes are? Down the corridor to the left. Thank you. Hey, you, we're gonna do a check because you're suspicious. What? This is a special drink for the evil school. To prove that you're from here, you have to drink this. Ugh, I hope they don't find out that I'm lying. Holy water or dirty water? Of course the holy water. Oh my gosh, Amar, you're drinking the wrong glass. Oh no. What even is dirty water? Now you can read dirty things that people did in the past. Amar, can you buy me lunch? I don't have any money. Oh, are you hungry? Yeah, really. Why are you so quiet? Lily, have you ever kissed a guy? No, I haven't. Oh, that means this is wrong. No, I mean, I haven't kissed one guy. I've kissed three. Hey, isn't that our teacher? She's 50 years old and she hasn't She's married yet. She's not married? What are your kids doing here? We're just talking, miss. You have two kids? Uh, what are you talking about? I'm not married yet. <laughs> Amara? What's wrong? Are you okay? My parents got divorced. All of a sudden? Why? It turns out my dad has been cheating on my mom with our teacher and they have two kids. Oh my god. That means the dirty secrets are true. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Gosh, so they really did die because of the lunch I gave them. Hello? Answer me! Um, it wasn't because of me, sir. The last meal was chicken soup okay now keep this a secret from everyone so i'm not in trouble right sir no but please keep this a secret yes of course where did you just come from amara i was just walking around the school i'm really starting to get worried about our friends do you think something bad happened to them no i don't think so honey you're back from school let's have lunch i just cooked what's our lunch this time cockroaches why I don't know if I should eat it, but I need to find out if the reason my friends died was because of them. You don't want to eat the food? Yes, I do, mom. Well, it tastes really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Why didn't anything happen? I'll get it. Hey, I brought you a bag filled with food. You did? I don't think I can accept this, sir. If you don't, I'll reduce your grades. Okay, I'll accept it. Why is he forcing me to take this? This is so weird. I have to find out who was responsible for what happened at school yesterday. Amara, you're finally here. Huh, Stephanie? How are you still alive? Am I in heaven? I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. So you faked your death? Yes. How much can I drink today? Huh, only one cup? That's not even enough. I'm going to be thirsty all day. You have a whole cup filled with water. Why are you taking tiny sips? Because my allowance is only one cup today. What? A whole family gets 10 liters per day. Why are you different? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll find a way so you can increase your drinking allowance. Thanks, mom. I have to be careful with how much I drink today. Amara, why are you wearing those clothes? Why? What else would I wear? Sport clothes. We have to run. The teacher told Run? I can't join you because I can only drink one cup of water today. But it's an important test. You have to come. Huh? Sir, are we really having a running test? Yes, because the school wants to kick out any student who's considered weak. So, for example, the ones who only gets to drink little per day. But why, sir? Because our school wants to be known for having strong athletic students, not weak ones. I only have half a cup left. I'm not going to drink again until after the run. Are you sure you'll be able to do it? 
Yeah, how much can you drink today? Five liters. Everyone gets five liters. I don't know why you're different. I feel so isolated. You have to be able to run 10 kilometers. Luckily, I can drink a lot of water. Yeah, we have to keep drinking so we get a lot of energy. Okay, I've drank a whole bottle of water. I think it's enough now. Amara, do you think you'll be able to hold your thirst? Yeah, I think so. I should be fine. Okay, everyone, get ready. The running test will start in three, two, one. I'm so thirsty and tired. Amara, we only have one kilometers left. I feel really weak. I have to drink now. Um, that means you can't drink anymore for today, right? I hope you can survive this, Amara. I can't anymore. I have to rest. Why don't you run? We're having an exam. I just took a little break. You have to go back before anyone realizes. You'll get kicked out Why of the school. Why did you bring so many drinks with you? Can I have one? No, Amara, you shouldn't. Finally, I'm not thirsty anymore. Wait, but the water you just drank is actually...